another day, another charge. <clears throat> what? Mom, I need to borrow your charger. No, I'm using it. I'm only at 10%. I'm going to die. Here, hurry up. <clears throat> it's not working. Let's try this. That's the emergency charger. This is an emergency. <clears throat> it didn't work. There must be something wrong with my charging port. Did I hear something wrong with the charging port? Hold still. Hold what? What happened? You made it worse. I'm at 2% now. There's one more thing we can try. Come with me. Wait. So, you need more charge? Yeah, my dad says you know what to do. <laughs> I have just the thing. Dad, this guy seems sketchy. Put this to your charging port, and whatever you do, don't move. Wait, why can't I move? No question, just do it. I am tired of getting electrocuted. Look at your energy. 200%? But that's not even possible. I have so much energy. I feel so great. My energy hasn't went down all day. Not even 1%. That's great, but maybe you should take a break, Brianna. Not a chance. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I feel great. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I really do. My energy is at its max, and I am loving it. Woo! Honey. Oopsies. Uh-oh, you got a mark. Five mistakes, and you're out. Out? Like? Yes, exactly. Two plus two. Brianna, what's the answer? Um... I can't answer it. I don't want to make a mistake. I know the answer. It's three. <laughs> that was Timmy's fifth mistake. Five mistakes and you're out. Brina, hold this. What is wrong with you? Why did you give that to me to hold when I wasn't ready? Chill out. It's no big deal. No, I can't chill out. I have two marks now. Three more and I'm out. Giving her that to hold was a mistake. What? How is that a mistake? Was it a mistake? Brianna, if you agree, I'll take away one of your marks. Was it a mistake? Brianna, if you agree, I'll take away one of your marks. Uh, no, that's my last mistake. You still have three left. It was her mistake, not mine. Hey, guys. You can't sit with us. Why not? For the reason Sophie's dead. You let her die so you didn't get another mark. Why should I get a mark? I wasn't the one who made a mistake. Five marks and you're out. You're so selfish. Your shoelaces are untied. Hmm? Why would you do that? Sir, she made a mistake. She forgot to tie her shoelaces and then she tripped. What? No, you tripped me. You're now the school's target. That's what you get for killing Sophie. You're gonna be next. Come on, please give me blue. Mom will disown me if I get red. Pink? What the hell is pink? Why are you wearing that shirt? Oh, because that's the color I was assigned. You need to go take it off right now. What? Why? You cannot be walking around wearing pink. Go put on blue instead. Okay, geez. Is this better? Yeah, nobody will be able to tell now. Okay, good. Oh, Bailey, you got blue too? Um, yeah, I did. Why did you say it like that? You seem nervous. Like what? I'm not nervous. I heard that Martha got the color purple. Like what? <laughs> purple? That's crazy. What does that mean? I don't know, but they said they're gonna kill anyone with a different color. They're gonna what? Um, yeah, you didn't know that? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I just hope that nobody got pink. That's the worst color of all. What did you say? If we don't leave now, he's gonna come out to kill you. Okay, let's go. Shouldn't we, like, call the police on him, though? No, that's what I did, and in the future, they never got him. I'm gonna save you from all of this. I'll be right back. How are you gonna save me? I'm gonna kill him so that you can have a normal life. What? Isn't that a bad idea? Of course not. It'll be fine. Okay, I did it. It's done. That was so fast. I have to go back to the future now. Bye. You're just gonna leave? I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't get home right now. She just killed someone and wants me to go get a Red Bull? Fine, whatever. There she is! Excuse me, is your name Bailey? Yes. You're under arrest for the murder of your recent boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, I didn't do that. 
This videotape is showing you committing the crime. That's not me. The, uh, you have the right to remain silent. You'll be coming to the station with us. Today I'm going to be picking out my outfit with a blindfold on. We have moved to the inside of my closet and I'm just going to blindfold myself. I don't even know where I'm going. We're just going to reach this one. I feel like I should look. <laughs> okay, we might as well pick out a coat too with this. Oh, I actually really like this jacket. We're now on the floor and whatever the first shoes I touch are, I'm going to wear them. Okay. Oh! This is my skirt drawer, honestly. I oh! I'm just gonna dig through here. I'm gonna go for the bottom ones because I don't even know what's down there. What am I holding on to? Okay, hello? Let's just try on the full fit and see what it looks like. Are we ready for the final fit? Because I don't know if you can handle all this. <laughs> Upon putting this top on, I realized that it's actually broken. <laughs> this was kind of a moment. And then we just lift the leg, mm, put it back down, put it back down. Rate my outfit one to 10 in the comments. <laughs> You know what to say. Mm hmm I wanna be a... Say doctor. Sugar baby! What? No! Where did you learn... Why would you say that? Sissy told me to say it. <gasps> Elizabeth! It was just a joke. But, but, she said that I will make a lot of money. Is that true, mommy? Uh, I mean, yes, but no! No, you will not be doing that. Hey, look, it's sugar baby girl. I was six, okay? Cut me some slack. Well, I heard Ashley's rich dad is single now. You guys want to hook up? <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. Stay away from my dad, creep. I don't care about your dad, Ashley. People are just spreading rumors about me. Besides, your dad's kind of, um, a jerk. No offense. At least my dad didn't leave me. What did you just say? You heard me. Do you know why you're here? Because I punched Ashley in the face. Yes, but I gotta say, she deserved it. Wait, Principal Richards, are you being for real? Please. Call me Steven. Call me Steven. Uh, okay. So, wait, you're not gonna tell my mom? Nah, I won't tell her a thing. That is, as long as you don't tell her about this. Consider it my little gift to you. Why are you giving me this? I saw your future, sweetheart. Sir? Steven. Steven, I was tricked into making that my future. Wait, so you don't want to be a sugar baby? No, thank you. Ah, uh, well, here's my personal number, in case you change your mind. Guys, bad news. I think my future's coming true. Wait, where's mom? She's at the store. What is all that? I just found all these unpaid bills. Mom's been going bankrupt paying for my college, and we're gonna lose the house. Wait, what? I have to drop out. But your dream is to become a doctor. Guess that dream's over. No, Lizzie, don't, okay? I can get the money. How? By making my future come true. What is that? This is the phone number to my principal, Principal Richards. Your principal's trying to be your sugar daddy? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds bad, but hypothetically, yes. Hand that over! No, give that to me, okay? This is our only ticket to making sure that you get to become the doctor of your dreams and that we don't lose this house. This is crazy. Look, you're the one that tricked me into getting this future in the first place. I am just trying to put it to some use. I don't like this. Shut up. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, Steven. It's me. Oh, hey, sweetie. Did you change your mind? Uh, yeah, I did. Great, because I wanted to see if you would go somewhere with me. Wait, how much are all the bills? Uh, like around $5,000. Okay, I will do it if you pay me $5,000. Uh, yeah, that works for me. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Oh my god. Girls? I'll pick you up at seven. Okay, bye. Girls, where are you? You have to cover for me while I go on that date. No, you have to. I'm not gonna- There you are. Do you girls want some dinner? Actually, I was gonna go out with a friend tonight. Oh, really? Is that okay? Well, I don't know. Elizabeth, what do you think? Should I let her go? It is a school night. Ugh, but I think she'll be fine. Be back no later than 10. Okay, I will. Thanks, mom. You owe me big time. I don't like this. Relax, this is a one-time thing. I'm gonna get the money, say I don't feel good, he'll have to take me home, then I'll never talk to him again. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Got your money right here. I'm excited for tonight. Um, there's only $20 in here. Darn, I brought the wrong envelope. Mind if I go back home? Uh, sure. Just wait right here, I'll be right back. Warning wanted kidnapper on loose. 
That's him. Signal lost. No, come on, please. This can't be happening. Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took so long. Hey, what's the matter? Why did you lock that door? I didn't lock the door. It probably just got stuck. Here, I got you this. What is that? It's your money. 5k exact. No, I don't want the money anymore. Please, I just want to go home. Relax. Everything's okay. Why is there no signal down here? This house has horrible reception, but I could fix it. Let me see your phone. Wait, no. Well, how about I just fix some of these wires down here and hey, that should do it. <sighs> Shit. You uh, weren't supposed to see that. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry. You're safe here with me, sweetheart. This is your new home now. Oh. 911, what's your emergency? Yes, hi. I need help. I. Hello? Signal lost. No. You really shouldn't have done that. Uh, let me go. Why are you doing this? The day you came to my school, I fell in love with you. You remind me of my wife. What? Yes, I haven't been the same since she passed. And unfortunately, the last girl I brought here escaped, so I think the police are after me. But this basement's pretty hidden, so I think we'll be safe. Well, I'm actually kind of thirsty, so... Do you think you could get me some water? Of course. Anything for you. I'll be right back. Bria! Elizabeth? How did you- Shh! Mom put a tracker in your phone case. Oh, I knew this guy was bad news. Don't worry, the cops are on their way. What do you think you're doing? Come here! Uh, eat peppers for you, creep! Oh, my eyes! Your principal is now in custody, okay? Don't you ever do anything like that again! I know, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you save the house. I know, sweetheart. But we are suing that principal. I really hope we win the lawsuit. I think it's safe to say we're gonna win. Big time. <laughs> so, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe. I love you even more. And what can I get you two? I'll take the steak and fries, and she's going to get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm going to find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't. You'll get... I'm coming in. Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt just in case you need it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on, I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No! Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? All out of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight.
You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Come, I'll show you. Hi, I'm Rachel, and that's Tim. But if you like, you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm pregnant! I'm gonna have a baby sister? I mean, she won't be your real sister, but yeah. Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. No, you're too old for them now. Don't be selfish. Hand them over. She's here. Aw, oh, can I hold her? No, oh my gosh, no! Don't touch her! <coughs> Mom, the baby's crying. I think she's in the shower. It's okay, it's okay. Peekaboo! <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mom! <gasps> oh my gosh! I was just... I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was crying and you were in the shower, so I just picked her up and she fell asleep. I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her to me! How dare you disobey me! I was just singing her a song. Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. Did you steal that from our baby? No, I'm sorry. I just, I was feeling sad and I usually have these stuffed animals when I'm sad. I told you to give that to the baby. You don't need that anymore. Let me see it. No, my real parents gave this to me. Oh, I see how it is. We don't allow rudeness in this house. No! I think we should give her back to the adoption center. No, please. I'll do anything. Uh, I mean, we do need someone to help around the house with this new baby. Will you help us clean? If if I do that, then can I stay? Huh. Okay. As long as you're obedient and you clean well, you can stay. Did you finish the laundry? Yes. Good, because there's crumbs all over the floor. Get to it. What? Is there any way that I can have some dinner? She needs to be fed first. Listen, we both have to leave and we need you to watch the baby. You're gonna let me watch her? Yes, because we have to, but if anything happens to her, I'm bringing you back to that adoption center. Understand? We'll be home by 10. Her bottles are in the fridge. Hey, it's okay. Where are they? Hi, it's me again. I'm just wondering where you guys are at, because it's already midnight. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Officer, are they? Well, kid, it uh, looks like your mother is in critical condition and your father, he, he didn't make it, kid. I'm sorry. Your mom wants to see you. I'll hold her for you, honey. I'll watch over her, too. Be careful with her. We will, kid. Mom, I... Come here. I'm so sorry that my real daughter is going to be stuck with you. Ow. I should have never adopted you. Doctor. We lost her. I believe these belong to you. I'm so sorry, kid. Thank you. Quite you so. and your sister you are adorable. You didn't deserve to be treated like that, you know? My wife and I are actually looking to adopt. Really? Yeah. We've always wanted daughters. I can talk to my wife. Would you like that? Oh, kid, come here. Oh, thank goodness it's only one. I don't want to have any competition. A thousand? How does he even know a thousand people? A hundred thousand? This can't be right. What's wrong? I don't know. Maybe it's just that a hundred thousand people are simping over my soulmate. Whoa, a hundred thousand? Mine is none. Oh, well, you're lucky then. One million? Oh wow, he must be famous. I know. I gotta find him before those girls do. He's my soulmate. I have to be the one he chooses. Okay, so what are we thinking? Is he like worldwide famous or social media famous? Hmm. Two million? He's getting more famous and more simps by the minute. I should give up. I'm never going to find him, and if I do, how am I going to compete with two million girls? You can't give up. That's your soulmate. I'm so sorry. Watch where you're going, nerd. Uh, excuse me? Nerd? Who do you think you are? How about you watch your manners next time? I'll do as I please. 
OMG, I can't believe you talked him that way. Do you know who he is? No, and I don't think I want to. He's kind of a jerk. He's low-key social media famous. He has over 2 million followers on TikTok. What? Bestie, I think I found my soulmate. <laughs> That's great. Why are you upset? Because he's an entitled TikTok influencer. Come on, give him a chance. Ask him out on a date. You might change your mind. I need to know if he's truly my soulmate or not. Hey. Hey, nerd. So, I think you might be my soulmate. Let me explain. My soulmate has over 2 million people crushing on them, and you have over 2 million followers on TikTok. So I just need to go on a date with you to test if this theory is true. So you like me? No, I never said that. I said that you might be my soulmate. Makes sense. My soulmate has zero crushes. Then it must not be me, because I would have way more than that. I don't think so. Do you want to go on a date or not? Sure, I'll pick you up at 11. Alright. Sounds good. See you then. Oh, that must be him. Hey. Wow, you look beautiful. I, I do? Yeah, I mean, for a nerd. We had a moment there, and you ruined it. Let's go. This is a really nice place you brought me. Isn't it? It's one of my favorites. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... Your crushes keep going up. Do you feel insecure? Yeah, I mean, a little. Three million girls is a lot of competition. Yeah, three million girls is a lot, but you're the only one on a date with me. And you're the only one that I see. Did you also just... <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> the date was amazing. OMG, I saw you on TikTok. You're so cute. <laughs> did you just bark at me? She's a psycho. Are you serious? How do you have four million crushes? Hey, do you have a pencil I can borrow? Uh, sure. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why are you mad? I thought we talked about this already. Sorry, I guess I just want you all to myself. It's such a beautiful day out today. Isn't it? Hey, cutie. Are you by chance single? No, he's not actually. He has a girlfriend. And it's me. Oh, really? Yes! Stop acting like this. You're acting crazy. I can't do this anymore. Why do you have so many crushes all of a sudden? I do? Really? How many? 200. 200? Nice. How was that nice? Says the guy with over 4 million simps. How did you do it? I, uh, I started TikTok. Let me see. No, no, don't. Seriously? You're posting thirst traps? 2,000 crushes, really? I have 2,000 crushes already? I can't believe I ever even liked you. How can you even be upset? You have way more crushes than I do. Yeah, but I didn't purposely get people to crush on me just to spite you. Look, I'm sorry. I was just jealous and I thought if I had lots of crushes too, we could be equal. Save it, alright? I'm leaving. Have fun with your simps. Yeah, and you have fun with yours. Stop posting thirst traps on TikTok. Very bold of you to say. Oh, would you look at that. Four million one hundred thousand. Four million two hundred thousand. Wow, your crushes are going very fast. Cut it out already. Who are you to tell me what to do? We broke up, right? This is getting out of hand. Just stop posting. I'll stop posting when you stop. Hey. Look. I don't want your critique any longer. I'm here to say I'm sorry. I get it. I understand how you're feeling. It's hard to see people fall for the person you like. It's my fault too. I was being insecure. You know what I think of this whole crush soulmate thing? You covered my crushes. Yeah, let's not look at them anymore. They don't define our relationship. You're right. I like it better this way. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh, uh, nothing. You are a terrible liar. You know you can't go outside until you turn 21. But why? I'm 18. Isn't that close enough? No, you're not going outside. I need to know what's out there. I'm going to work. Don't try anything while I'm gone. Okay, see you later. Why is there nothing good on Netflix right now? Who's there? That's definitely not my mom. Bailey, honey, listen to me. 
There's somebody inside the house. I saw it on the cameras. You have to leave now. But I can't go outside. It's just this one time. The police are on the way to save you right now. What do you mean they'll save me? Okay, this is it. I'm going out the window. Wow. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, you can't touch anything. Why not? You can only touch three things today. I don't understand what the big deal is. You have to save them in case of an emergency, okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. You can only touch your own body or things you're already wearing. I know. Everyone take out your textbooks and open to page three. I can't. You can't touch anything again today, Bailey? Just how it is, I'm sorry. You can follow along with what we're doing on the board. Hey, do you think you can hand me a pencil by any chance? No, uh, I'm sorry. Why not? I can see that you can touch three things, just use one of them. No, I'm sorry, just ask someone else. I want you to do it. Hey, what are you doing? Let go of me. Look, it's not that hard. Bitch, did you just slap me? Yes. You're gonna regret doing that. Reason? Reason of what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You have to pick the reason you die. I don't wanna choose the reason that I die. You have to, we all do. Well, it's definitely not gonna be by drowning. I'm gonna pick the most painless one that I can. Good luck, I don't think any of the options are good. Murder? Oh my God, that's way worse, no. Can this give me an option that doesn't suck brutally? <laughs> Bailey! Oh, sis, what's wrong? I didn't pick a reason in time and it picked one for me. What? It picked one for you? Apparently you only get three choices. I didn't know that. I'm so scared to ever get into a car again. I'm so sorry. Be careful with your choices, okay? I will. Please just give me something painless. I don't remember anything that happened last night. Where am I right now? Welcome to your escape room. You must complete five tasks in order to leave. What? I don't want to play this game. You must play. Let me out of here. If you fail to complete all five tasks, you will not be making it out alive. What can you hold in your right hand but not your left? I don't know. My left hand. That wasn't so bad. There is no way I am doing that. Please just let me out of here. Okay. That hurt. What now? How am I supposed to give myself a tattoo? No. Happy birthday, sweetie. Thanks, mom. What'd you get me? Here. Yeah. Skittles? They give you special abilities. Yeah, whatever. Magical powers. Well, I guess I could try one. I don't feel any difference. Bye, Mom, I'm going to school. Wait, honey, I have some bad news. Your grandma passed away. Oh, well, that sucks. Wait, you're not sad? No, why should I be? Bye, Mom. Oh, no, that's horrible. What's horrible? Jessica got hit by a car. Oh my gosh, for real? Well, I'm sorry for her. What's wrong with you? Hey, baby. We have to break up. I hooked up with Emily. Oh. Well, that's okay. What do you mean, that's okay? Was it good? Was what good? The hookup. Was it good? I knew you never loved me. Let me try another one. Ooh, purple. My favorite. I wonder what this is gonna do. Good morning, Mom. Hey, honey. I wonder if she knows that she's adopted. Wait, I'm adopted? Yes, I'm sorry, honey. How did you find out? No, it's okay. I'm going to school. Hey, Giselle. Oh, hey, Olivia. I had so much fun hooking up with her boyfriend last night. Wait, you hooked up with Lucas? How do you know that? It's fine. I've always been taught to give my all toys to the less fortunate. Well done, Giselle. You got an A-plus on your test. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bates. She can definitely get an A-plus on me. Can I transfer out of this class? Ugh, Giselle, come on, just go on a date with me. Tyler, you ask me every day, and every day I tell you no. Fine, I'll just watch you by your window again tonight. I have to remind myself to close my blinds. 
I'll try another color. Orange. Let's go see what this one does. Hey, Mom. I never loved you. I regret having you and your sister is my favorite child. I don't know why I said that. It's okay. I'm leaving for school. Well, that was freaky. Hey, Jess. I'm only friends with you because you have a hot dad. Wait, you're only friends with me because I have a hot dad? Yes, I don't like you. You're a shitty person. Good to know. Hey, psst, Giselle. What's up? Doesn't Mr. Fitz look so hot? I want to marry him and have his babies. Did you just admit to being in love with our math teacher? I don't know how much more of this I can take. Hey, babe, I've been meaning to tell you. I'm in love with your mother, we're getting married, and I'm going to be your stepfather. I'm going crazy. What's the next color? Green? So good. Let's go find out what this one does. Hey, Mom. I still can't believe you failed your math test. I wish you would just forget about that. Forget about what? My math mark? What math mark? Never mind. I'm going to school. No way. Does this power make my wishes come true? Hey, Giselle. Hey, I wish you would give me your hat. Oh my gosh, yes, take it. Thanks. Giselle, you failed your math test again. Sir, I wish you would just give me an A+. Actually, you got an A+. Hey, Jackson. Hey, Giselle. I wish you would go on a date with me tonight. Well, keep wishing, because it's not going to happen. Wait, what? Do you think I'm dumb? Which color should we try next? Let's do yellow. Pause and play. I wonder what that does. Hey, Mom. Giselle, why didn't you do the dishes last night like I told... I guess I could do the dishes quickly. I told you to. What do you mean, Mom? I did them last night. Go check. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have been confused. I'm going to school. Okay, class, get ready for a pop quiz. Pop quiz? Well, I definitely don't feel like doing that. Wait, where'd Giselle go? That's one way to get out of it. Ugh, this class is so boring. Why isn't it pausing? Could you stop that? I'm trying to listen to the material. <gasps> no! What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate, Jared, he's 80% nice and 20% naughty, but that still means he's gonna be on the naughty list. He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think he's gonna propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jerry. <sighs> <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said, if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? I have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. I think my dad's just afraid that you're going to turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't. And I'm going to get a 100% score just for you. Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter... Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter, and I'm gonna be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? <laughs> Nighty night. Holly, wake up. Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. Now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da. Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm gonna make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's gonna know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? No, his score went down again. It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. Jared, look, here comes another person. Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. 
No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared. We were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you. He doesn't care anymore. <laughs> now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty, and we can go to your place, and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know you're gonna make your nice score go down. It's going down a lot more if you Okay, don't... wait. I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Polly! Polly, come on, wake up. I don't like this. Come on. Oh no, I think the blizzard killed her. I think the blizzard killed her. No. How long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't gonna be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute. Aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There. That should have helped her. Oh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared, do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. Jared? Holly. You okay? Yeah, never better. Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Ah, uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... No way! Looks like baby Crystal is taken up after me. So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe, I love you even more. And what can I get you two? I'll take the steak and fries, and she's going to get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm going to find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't. You'll get... I'm coming in. Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt just in case you need it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on. I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No! Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? A lot of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, 
You know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? You didn't actually eat the dinner, did you? Well, aren't you quite the little actress, pretending to be asleep like that? Now, what were you doing with my Amber Alert? Missing girl from 2018 shit. So why didn't you call the police right away? I was too scared to call the police at the time, but after they left, I did, and that's when they told me her description matched Claire Montgomery, who's the girl who went missing in 2018. After all I've done for you, and you go and lie to me, I need to ask you a question, and I don't want to set you free, so... How did you... Haven't you figured it out by now? I found a way to steal your words, and I can control how many you get. I mean, I gotta admit, it's pretty adorable watching you anxiously wait every year, hoping you'll get more words. But how many do you always end up getting? Three. And what do I ask you to tell me every year? I love you. I love you. Those were the only words I wanted to hear from you for so long. But you were never into me. Because you were a stalker. I admired you, Claire. I... I care about you a lot. Then let me go. You know I can't do that. I have to protect you. You're insane. And you're using up all your words. Here, take some more. You are a sick son of a... On second thought, maybe it's best if you remain silent. This is why I can never give you any more words. I'll come back down here once you... Looks like we got company. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. That may be the case, but we're gonna take a look around, and if we don't find anything, then you'll be good to go. So far, I don't see anybody here, sir. Keep looking. Want to get your words back? 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, 1. Words retrieved. Since we can't find anyone, we're gonna... No. No help, I'm down here. Wait, where's that coming from? He has a basement. I'm... I'm in the basement. Show us where she is right now. Whoa, okay, okay. Hey, are you Claire Montgomery? Yes, yes, that's me. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. How did you get your words back? Boys, get him out of here. Don't even look at him, it's alright. Claire, tell him you love me. Tell him that I was good to you. Tell him or else I'll... Stop it. Somebody get him in the car. Want to take Derek's words? Babe, please. Get in the car, Miss the Paca. Babe, you have to listen to him. Don't call me babe. In fact, you're not going to be able to call me anything now. You're finally going to get to feel how I felt for these past three years. Being silenced isn't very fun, is it, Derek? Looks like Mr. Parker got what he deserved. My best friend controls my bank account or my hand? Yeah, I don't need her making me go broke. She's out of town, so I wonder how this is going to work. Incoming call. Oh, it's her. Hey. Girl, I can see in here everything you do you can yeah this is so weird don't worry i won't make you do anything bad you may now begin your test what are you doing i swear i'm not trying to do this maya why would you do something like that revenge for what you need to see this what is this a picture of you and Maya's boyfriend, and it looks like you're holding hands. What? Yeah, it's been sent out to the whole school. Maya, I swear, this isn't what it looks like. I can't believe her. I'm going to make her week a living hell. Maya, listen, I wasn't cheating with your boyfriend. I was just... Mm. I don't want to hear her excuses. I saw the photo. They were clearly holding hands. Are you okay? Mm. No, my best friend is controlling my hand today, and she's super mad at me. Dang, it sucks to be you. <laughs> yeah, can't say I disagree. Maya, if you would just let me explain... Excuse me, you need to pay attention. I take Jim very seriously. Of course, uh, so do I, coach. Are you mocking me, Miss Missouri? No, sir. Oh, you think you're funny, huh? Go run five laps. No, but I... Uh-uh-uh, don't want to hear it. Let's go. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh, I'm so thirsty. Here, you can have my water. Oh, thank you. Thanks again for the water. No problem. 
What the? That's what you get for being a bad friend. Maya, all week you've been causing me trouble, and any time I try and explain what happened with your boyfriend, you... Mm. You do that. I don't care what you have to say anymore. I can't trust you. Oh, and I see her crush is coming near. Oh no, Nate, Maya, please, I'm begging you, don't. Hey, uh, how are you doing? Good. Great, actually. Sweet. Well, you know, prom's coming up, right? Yeah. I was wondering if you... <laughs> Nate? She just knocked out Nate? No, no, I would never. My friend is controlling my hand. Principal's office now. Listen, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Great, they put handcuffs on her. Now I can't control her hand. What do you mean she's your sign language instructor? Wait, so that's why she was touching your hand? Why didn't you call me sooner? She's about to get arrested. Take her downtown. No, please wait. Stop. I was controlling her officers. She's innocent. Did you finish your chores, darling? Yes, so did I. You know what that means. $20. All right. Your first allowance. We want to teach you to work for your money. Mom? Dad? We wanted to take Bunny to the park for a bit. Sure. Just be careful. We will. Peekaboo. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of fire trucks. I just got 10 million in my bank account. I was just gonna say. Yeah, so did I. We need to go home. Something's wrong. No. What happened? What does it look like? Your house burnt down. But what about our parents? Your parents didn't make it. I'm sorry. Mama. Someone's gonna take you in. Who? A distant relative. Your aunt, Octavia. Hello, children. What a pleasure it is to meet you. Uh, hi? Such a shame what happened. I'm just so glad your money is safe. I mean, you're safe. <laughs> ah. Please, put those down. Chill. I'm not gonna use this on you. Wait. Uh, what are you doing? Look, I had to. Just here, take these scissors and come with me. I need to show you something. We can't just leave that girl like that. Yeah, we can. Now, do you see that guy over there? Yeah. He only has one task left. You have to take him out. What? No. You have to. No, I'm not- Hey, sorry to do this to you, but I only got one task left, and it's a really bad one. <sighs> I knew you had it in you. Come on, we should go. I can't believe I just did that. Uh, Lauren? Why does my next task say for me to kill somebody, but it's already checked off? I don't think that guy made it. I don't feel so good. Hey, listen, you have to complete everything. What is it safe for you to do next? We have to save the girl that you hurt. Look at me. If we're gonna go save her, you need this. You came back. Yeah, I'm gonna save you, okay? How? The school's on lockdown until someone wins the game. <sighs> Wait, I have an idea. The nurse's office, it has tons of medical supplies. I'm gonna go get some. All right, but like, be careful. I will. I grabbed a bunch of stuff, and luckily for you, I know how to do stitches. Okay, you should be feeling a lot better now. Yeah, thanks. I only have one more left. So do I. What are you doing? Hey, mommy. Can I ride the bus to school with my friends? No, honey, I'll walk you. Okay. Hey mom, can I go to the mall with Jessica? Her mom's taking us. You can go, but I'm driving you. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Hey mom, there's this school trip. Can I go? How long is the drive? About three hours. No, sorry, you can't go. Okay. Hey mom, I'm finally 16. Can I please learn how to drive? No. But both my sisters got to learn at my age. I said no. This is not fair. Hey girl, are you coming with us to Jackson's party tonight? I would love to, but I can't. Ugh, is this about the whole driving thing? I'll take you, I have my license. You know what? Yeah. Pick me up at seven. I'll follow you into the park Through the jungle, through the dark I've never loved one like you Boats and boats and waterfalls Alleyways and payphone calls I've been everywhere with you That's true We laugh until we think we'll die Barefoot on a summer night Nothing will be sweeter than it with you And in the streets you're running free Like it's only you and me 
she's your something to see. Oh, home, every time I'm home, home is wherever I'm with you. Oh, home, every time I'm home, home is wherever I'm with you. You can only say yes. Yes. Sweetie, does this dress make me look fat? Yes. You really think that? Yes. You're such a disappointment. Do you know that? Yes. Giselle, will you do today's homework for me? Yes. Really? I wasn't expecting you to say yes. Will you do the whole week's homework for me? Yes. Oh my gosh, thanks. You're the best. Yes. Class, today we're doing a pop quiz. Yes. Giselle, you seem really excited about the quiz. Yes. Should we throw in a surprise presentation too? She better say no. If she says yes, she's done. Yes. Hey, babe, I think we should break up. Yes. Wait, so you want to break up too? Yes. You're cheating on me, aren't you? Yes. You can only say no. No. Honey, do you want some breakfast? No. But it's your favorite chocolate chip pancakes. No. Are you okay? Should I call a doctor? No. Giselle, did you finish the assignment? No. Are you planning to finish it? No. And you just earned yourself detention? No. That's it. Go to the principal's office. Giselle, do you have a day to prom yet? No. I heard Chad's gonna ask you. No! But I thought you were in love with Chad. <gasps> Giselle, he's coming! No, 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 no! Hey, Giselle. Will you go to prom with me? No. Is that a yes or a no? No! Whatever, I'm out of here. No. Oh, wow. Are you trying something new with your hair? No. What do you mean? Look at yourself. <gasps> what happened to my hair? Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. It looks like a bird's nest. Looks like you have some pink strands of hair now, too. Apparently. I guess it could have been worse. It could have been country. I fell in love with an emo girl. All I want is... Very funny. You know, you kind of look like Machine Gun mm. Kelly, too. Thanks. Why do you look like Hot Topic threw up on you? Guys, okay, it wasn't me. It was my soulmate. I don't want to dress like this. You know, maybe you should. It kind of suits you. Maybe your soulmate just has a crush on Avril Lavigne. That's fair. Me too. Or they might be like a super famous rock star. I really doubt that, but it would be super cool. Guys, is that who I think it is? Looks like your rock star isn't that far away after all. She's back and with more fashion trends from the 2000s that we have to bring back. Listen, hear me out for one second. The denim on denim is kind of hot. I love it. Especially in like this couple's aesthetic and with the necklace, I'm obsessed. I will now be buying a denim corset. Track suits, like why do we ever stop wearing these? They're so cute and you don't have to put any effort in because it already matches. I'm gonna buy this, but in hot pink. Just everything about Christina Aguilera, the gloves, the chain, the hats, I love the hat. Obviously I already did the braids too. I think they're so cute. Also, just everything Avril Lavigne did. Like, are you kidding me? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I have these arm cuffs and I bought a tie because of this look. I'm obsessed with cargo pants and I'm very glad that they're coming back into style. Let me know what trends you missed from the 2000s because I have so many more. These are some trends from the 2000s that we need to bring back immediately. First of all, the black and white hair. It's just so good. I wish I could do it, but I'm afraid I'm gonna burn all my hair off. Somebody else needs to eat this up and tag me, please. You might want to argue with me, but low rise jeans and hear me out. As someone who is not very tall, this makes my torso look so much longer because I have children sized legs. The crimped hair, mwah, mwah. why did we ever stop doing this? I kind of love the texture. It's fun, it's crazy, it's messy, but on purpose. Last but not least, okay. This, this whole aesthetic. The belt and the cargos and the bracelets, yes. I would literally wear this tomorrow if I had all of this. Comment a trend that you want to see come back. Come on, please give me blue. Mom will disown me if I get red. Pink? What the hell is pink? Why are you wearing that shirt? Oh, because that's the color I was assigned. You need to go take it off right now. What? Why? 
You cannot be walking around wearing pink. Go put on blue instead. Okay, geez. Is this better? Yeah, nobody will be able to tell now. Okay, good. Oh, Bailey, you got blue too? Um, yeah, I did. Why did you say it like that? You seem nervous. Like what? I'm not nervous. I heard that Martha got the color purple. Like what? <laughs> purple? That's crazy. What does that mean? I don't know, but they said they're gonna kill anyone with a different color. They're gonna what? Um, yeah, you didn't know that? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I just hope that nobody got pink. That's the worst color of all. What did you say? If we don't leave now, he's gonna come out to kill you. Okay, let's go. Shouldn't we, like, call the police on him, though? No, that's what I did, and in the future, they never got him. I'm gonna save you from all of this. I'll be right back. How are you gonna save me? I'm gonna kill him so that you can have a normal life. What? Isn't that a bad idea? Of course not. It'll be fine. Okay, I did it. It's done. That was so fast. I have to go back to the future now. Bye. You're just gonna leave? I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't get home right now. She just killed someone and wants me to go get a Red Bull? Fine, whatever. There she is. Excuse me. Is your name Bailey? Yes. You're under arrest for the murder of your recent boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, I didn't do that. This videotape is showing you committing the crime. That's not me. The, uh, you have the right to remain silent. You'll be coming to the station with us. Today I'm going to be picking out my outfit with a blindfold on. We have moved to the inside of my closet and I'm just going to blindfold myself. I don't even know where I'm going. We're just going to reach this one. I feel like I should look. <laughs> okay, we might as well pick out a coat too. What's this? Oh, I actually really like this jacket. We're now on the floor and whatever the first shoes I touch are, I'm going to wear them. Okay. Ah! This is my skirt drawer, honestly. I Oh! I'm just gonna dig through here. I'm gonna go for the bottom ones because I don't even know what's down there. What am I holding on to? Okay, hello. Let's just try on the full fit and see what it looks like. Are we ready for the final fit? Because I don't know if you can handle all this. Upon putting this top on, I realized that it's actually broken. This was kind of a moment. And then we just lift the leg, mm, put it back down, put it back down. Rate my outfit one to 10 in the comments. <laughs> Vandaag gaan een goede dag wees. Wacht. Hoe kom praat ik hier die vreemde taal? Mama. Mama, alsjeblieft help. Ik praat hier die vreemde taal en ik weet niet hoe kom nie. Honey, that's your soulmate's language. My zielsgenootse taal? Yes, and you'll only be able to speak English again once you need him. Wonderlijk. Ik is geskroef. Hey Giselle. Goeiemorgen Jessica. Why are you speaking Afrikaans? Just need my skill team. My seals can't draw your tall. Girl, you're gonna struggle to find him. Yo, this is what I was thinking. Come, on to class two. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number seven? Um, yo, I have to cry nine and six days. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number seven? Um, yo, ek het gekry 69. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Girl, did you see the new guy? Isn't he so cute? Yo, ek het. En weet van waarop is hy? Yeah, he's from South Africa. En wat praat hulle in South Africa? They speak Afrikaans. Wait, that means he's your... Yep. And on Saturday winner. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Yeah, you had to finally two and two of them apart. Gesit. You have to go talk to him. Is he mal? I can't even talk to him. I'm just seeing the way back. You're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, um, I'm Michael. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Yeah. You had to finally two and two of them apart. Gesit. You have to go talk to him. Is he mal? I can't even talk to him. I'm just seeing the way back. Well, you're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, I'm Michael, and you are. Oh, you can't speak? No, she can. No, apparently she can't. Girl, I can't believe you just did that. What anders moest ek doen? Ek is te bang om met hom te praat. 
Well, if you don't talk to him, you're never going to be able to speak English again. Talk, Viet. If you don't go talk to him today, I'm going to tell him you were lying. All right, all right. Axel met praat. Good choice. Hello, um, jy het gesê, naam is Michael. Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans? That means you're my... Hello, um, jy het gesê, naam is Michael. Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans. That must mean you're my... Jou sielsgenoot? Exactly, but why are you still speaking Afrikaans and I'm still speaking English? Nou dat jy dit noem, ja, dit is nog as vreemd. Ek wonder hoe kom praat ek nog steeds Afrikaans en jy nog steeds Engels. I don't know, but it's really weird. Ek gaan gaan probeer uitvind. Jessica, kan ek gaan met jou praat? Yeah, girl, what's up? Okay, ek het met Michael gepraat, maar ek praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wie anders is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans is nie. Did you know that Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hy een boetie? Yeah, I just met him this morning. Jessica, kan ek gaan met jou praat? Yeah, girl, what's up? Ok, so, ek het met Michael gepraat, maar ek praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wel, as dit nie hy is nie, wie is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans praat nie. Well, did you know Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hy een boetie? Yeah, I just met him this morning. Denk jy, dis talk hy? There's one way you could find out. Ok, waar kan ek om kry? I think he's in the cafeteria. Ok, ek gaan met hom gaan praat. Giselle, there you are. I've been looking for you. Michael, hello. Um, ek soek eindelijk jou boetie. Ek moet met hom praat. Why do you want to speak with my brother? Ek wil jou nie seer maak nie, maar ek denk jou boetie is dalk my seels genoot. That's impossible. It's me. Hey, I'm Jake. I'm Michael's brother. Hi, I'm Giselle. 